Shoreline Fishing, John here, and he, way off the bat, got myself a little sunny, come back, and um, yeah, so I'm going to be fishing the ponds today, and like I said, way off the bat, boom, so I'm hoping to catch quite a few fish here, there's lots of action on the top of the uh, um, surface of the water, Lots of bugs flying around, so they're very active right now. So I want to get right into the fishing. Let's fish. Second long year, and in no time at all. Pretty much no time at all. Let him go. There's another one. They're just destroying the uh, worm, which is good because. They're not stripping the worm, they're actually taking, trying to take the whole worm, which is always nice. Beautiful fish. They're beautiful. All fish are beautiful, but when they fight like this, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to record myself fishing for a little bit, so uh, you can see me catch one, hopefully. I'm not sure how much you can see, but... There you go. Right into the reeds and there's fish. Now he did take my uh, worm, so I had to we warm up. If we could get that same luck. Within seconds and boom. He's a nice size one. Had to figure out where he was hooked. That's how easy it is. Okay, let's try to uh, film another catch. Right into that, right into the middle of that open spot. And here we go. Oh, and <clears throat> sorry about the bouncing. There's the fish I caught. Get it untangled.
right back in that same spot. Oh, missed him. There we go. Got stuck in the reeds, I'll just threw them off. So that's two with no time at all. And uh, fix my worm a little bit. See if we can catch the third one with no time at all. Way right into the open spot. I'm not sure if you can see, I hope you can. Way right into the open spot. Nibbles. There we go. How much is a small one, but point is, everybody. Oh, that's a nice pumpkin seat, though. Nice little pumpkin seat. Let's finish off this one while I'm recording. Why not, right? Got to untangle a little bit, but uh, let's see. Into that open spot and into a fish. A little baby, but that's all right. Let's try a little bit deeper out. There's another one. Oh, he's got a little bit more size to him. At least a little bit more fight to him. And I still have a worm. So I'll keep on recording. Now it seems like I'm throwing them in hard, but I'm not really throwing them in that hard. It's just I want to get them right into the water, um, get them right deep into the water, so they don't try to swim upwards. So they get a little confused. Just try and get them going in the right direction. Oops, that wasn't the best cast. There we go. Right off the bat, nibbles, nibbles, nibbles. Come on, take it, take it. Ooh, you a bugger, bugger. Ah, nope, Mr. Man, there goes my worm.
here's a fish that won't survive, but um, when I caught him, a pike bit him, and that's what a pike would do to a fish. So, yeah. Now, I've had a pike attack a uh, fish, as I showed you, and a pike just bit my uh, bobber, so, uh, I'm going to move on to that fog that I tried before. With it being so weedy, it has to be top water. And yeah, he's uh, right on the surface. I can't see him, but I can see the ripples they cause. So let's get fishing and let's see if I can catch him. So there's a nice little large mouth. Let's turn back. Go back into it. These fish are just hammering the uh, the worm. Here's another nice one. As I catch this fish, look at its tail. Obviously, it's been introduced to a bigger fish. I'm not going to say it was a pike; it could have been a bass. But I'm going to explain to you why I stopped uh, fishing for that pike. And it's not going to be nice for those duck lovers, but it caught a uh, duckling, so I figured it was pointless in trying to catch him, uh, catch a pike after it just ate a uh, duckling. So, let's fish. The fish are starting to get small again, but like I said many times in many videos, that small ones are pretty hard to hook. So I have about a worm left. I'm going to fi uh, fish that out, call it a day, but I'm going to take a picture of every uh, fish I catch with this last worm and watch me catch nothing. Let's